We're back in the garage building stuff. Uh, today we're gonna put together a goose house. It's gonna be about four foot by four foot and just over four foot tall in front. Uh, each goose needs about eight foot square feet uh, to live. Since we have two, I need about 16 square feet. So uh, I think the numbers will work out. I do have uh, some written down plans, but uh, basically it's just a, a small goat house. Two sides are gonna be the same. The front's gonna just be taller than the back. Uh, typical two by four construction with studs generally in the centers, uh, about 24 inches, uh, plus or minus, uh, most likely minus, because we're gonna be a little bit shorter uh, than the four foot mark on the walls because the roof's gonna be a good four foot tall. So this is gonna be the frame for the front. Um, these two windows here, uh, they're gonna be windows for the front of the goose house. Uh, I just found out that they're just a little bit too wide, so I'm just gonna do some skin cuts on the edges just so we can cut out some of that wood and uh, get them in to the frame with no problems. back and we're going to get the sides done marry everything up. Since the two sides are going to be exactly the same, I'm just cutting two of each piece uh, and just stacking them on top of each other uh, for when it comes to assembly, screwing it all together, it'll just be that much easier. Uh, everything is very loosely together. Uh, this is the front, back, and the two sides. N nothing is uh, screwed together, but uh, this is the basic shape of what's going on. And we're going to start putting it together. So now it's time to frame in the windows. First thing we want to do is get this front up a little bit higher. Uh, when we get that up a little bit higher, uh, that'll help keep things in that we want in, and snow and rain and things like that hopefully will stay out. Uh, so first I want to put this up another height of one two by four, and then we're going to frame in the window. So the window is going to go here, and we'll just put one uh, two by four up at this spot. And same idea for over here. Checking out the location of the goose house right behind the back of the chicken coop. We got one of our geese, Rosie, checking out the new digs. First thing you gotta do is level it out. We got all four corners level. We're gonna bring in the frame.
got our roof rafters on. We got this. Alright, some tie beams. And we got the right there. And bring it. It's pretty much done. Got my door swinging the way I want. Got the handle. Got the couple latches to make sure it closes. Got it all hinged on. Uh, for the roof, I got some tar paper, but I haven't yet uh, screwed this in. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do next. Um, I got some, I believe it's butyl tape. Not exactly sure. I'll get that up there. But uh, that's going to keep this together and not let any water get from one side into the next over here and get it on there. I honestly don't know if I needed the tar paper, but I had extra, so I said, why not? I also caulked all the the uh, corners here, got caulk on them. Uh, pretty much any surface that I thought would leak um, any water, so that caulk got in there. Uh, these are also some special screws um, they have this extra like washer uh, more like it's kind of like a rubber uh, just make sure the water can't get through uh, the holes that you're putting in in the metal roof i just got to cut the extra off the end here and uh, i'm going to get some j channel uh, sorry drip edge. I'm going to get some drip edge and that'll help drop the water that comes on from the rain or melted snow and that'll just help it drop where I want it to drop and not anywhere else. I'm going to get that for the front and back. So today we're going to get up the J channel on the front and the back. Uh, before that I wanted to get the uh, edge here smoothed out where I cut with the tin snips. I'm just going to take a uh, a grinder here, grind it down and make that happen. Now that we got uh, that grounded down and relatively smooth, uh, we got our J channel, which the back end is going to go underneath, but the front is going to go on top. And the roof came out pretty nice, if you ask me. So we're back at the goose house, and I dug some trenches here. Um, ideally, you want to get about six inches down and six inches away from the goose house. But um, my dirt is really rocky and clay-like, so I got about as good as I can. I probably got closer to about four inches down and, and about six or eight inches out. So we got this one up there with just some uh, net staples or poultry staples or just uh, galvanized staples are called three quarter inch uh, just to get them up there. I put them about every you know four to six inches apart and uh, that'll stop any intruder from coming in because uh, after we backfill the intruder will come at about this height and they'll start digging and once they start digging they got to keep digging all the way back and they start giving up at that point because they don't know how far back it's going to go. So uh, that's worked pretty well for our chicken coop. We got all four sides pinned in. Uh, three of the sides are backfilled, the fourth one's not. So this will show you kind of what I mean by backfilling, filling in, and making it go. 
So this is it, the finished product. All painted, got some food in there, and Rosie's checking it out. So yeah, there it is. All bedding in there. We got the, the waterer, the deep dish that they need. And we got the food there. They're pretty simple. All nice and painted, all done up. Hardware cloth everywhere. We recalked a few spots again that needed it. She's good to go. We'll have some happy girls. That was embarrassing. Well, this stuff gets sharp. Uh, it just grazed me and boom, gave me a small nice cut, but uh, nothing too bad. Shut up. <laughs> this is scream. Oh, well, definitely screaming. Alright girls, no, alright, really, out of all the acreage, you gotta go right where I'm working. Now that we got uh, that all burned down and relatively smooth, <coughs> thanks for your being green buff. Um, dinner's ready, cool, thanks man. Dinner's ready.